Hello, welcome to the Mark Janad Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to test SQL injection vulnerabilities using Burp Suite. I'm going to provide some examples. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please, please, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Number one is the Boolean condition injection. And Peter, you can, uh, you know, Peter's my editor. He's going to put things on the screen as I talk about them so it makes more sense. So here we have an example of web application from the web goat training tool. The version of web goat we are using is taking from OWASP's broken web application project. This form is designed to be used for testing whether a supplied account number is valid. We can see the account number is 101 produces a positive result so the account number is valid. The true condition has been met. Next we must satisfy the false condition. So in this example, you saw the account number is what it is, right? The, the application has returned a negative response, so the account number is invalid. The false condition has been met. The next step is to confirm that the input is being evaluated as a SQL query and whether we can perform a true slash false test using SQL syntax. So here we have entered 101 and the one equals one. We know that both parts of this condition are true and would expect a positive true response. Here we have entered 101 and one equals two. We know that only one part of this condition is true and should return a negative false response. Now we know that we can ask the application questions using SQL syntax. Uh, we can inject SQL to find out any information that is accessible. So we have an example where we are looking for the pin number for the corresponds with the CC underscore number. To find the pin in this example, we could alter the number of the SQL statement and wait for the application to produce a positive true response. To reduce the number of requests involved, we could also test each character in the number one at a time and perform binary searches to efficiently find the correct answer. So next we have using time delays in some cases of blind SQL injection where no differential response can be triggered via injected Boolean conditions. An alternative technique that is often effective is to inject time delays. We have an example where we use an exercise from the MDSEC training labs. We may have tried to induce conditional errors. However, there have been no effects on the application's behavior, even if it induces an error within the database itself. In this situation, we can use Burp Suite to inject SQL that will cause a time delay and monitor the time taken for the response to be returned. Ensure intercept is on in the proxy intercept tab and we send the request right click anywhere on the request and click send to repeater we can alter the request using either the raw or params tab in the repeater request panel so we have an example where we are injecting injecting into a ms sql database we inject the following string into the request parameter and monitor how long the application takes to identify any vulnerabilities. That is where we have the one wait for delay in the 005. So beneath the repeater response console, we can see the time taken to receive the response in milliseconds, right? The response in this example has taken five seconds. This would indicate that the application is indeed vulnerable to SQL injection. So lastly, using out of bound channels in some situations, it isn't impossible to trigger any noticeable effect in the application's response, either in its contents or at in the time taken to receive it. In this situation, it is possible to detect SQL injection vulnerabilities by causing the database to make an out of band network connection to the tester server and the burp scanner use this technique via the burp collaborator feature. Okay, in this example, we can use, uh, you know, the burp scanner that has exploited a blind SQL injection vulnerability to cause database to make a network connection. Okay, so that's what I have for you today. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership. See you in the next video.